Hi ladies, it's Penny um, joining me at my very messy work table today. Um, I'm back in my craft room. Um, everybody seemed to like my little flower arrangements so I thought I'd do a, a few more or a couple more anyway. Um, I'm not sure if this video is going to go out. It depends how well it goes because uh, I'm not brilliant at tutorials and tell you the truth my my arm is killing me um, you know the shoulder anyway um, this is one I've done today I thought I'd introduce my shelves you know how I like working with, sh with shelves when I can so this is a different way of doing things. Um, I peeled the shell with this beautiful applique. Um, what did I do with it? I used to have there and put some... Um, it's very delicate. God knows how I'm going to um, post it, but I'll drop it first. Um, what do you call these? Uh, skeleton leaves. Dotted a couple of shells and a little bow there, I think you can see. Um, a centre flower, well, I've not put it dead centre of the arrangement, just there. And I've put in um, a little diamante. And then added uh, the peach to come with this peach and the um, and white roses. Very, very low now on my white roses and that, and pink. Um, I've got hardly any left now. Anyway, um, and then I added some nice little shells that I thought went with it, here and there. And I've stickled them, give them a bit of a shine. And then I've used the last of my lovely little flowers. These are the smallest ones I've got and these are the last three with the pearls inside. Do you know the stamens of pearls? Because I think it gives it a little bit of height and, um, and I like that. I've got to be ever so careful I've put this skeleton leaves on. And a couple of nice little gems in the in the shell. Um, just make it all shine nicely. So that's what I did, and then put more stickles here and there on it. So that was that one. So um, I put it somewhere safe, safe from my hands anyway. So <coughs> what do I do? Well, this one I've decided is going to be this size. I'm I'm very low as well on my felt. Um, this is quite cheap. I might have to put another layer on this because it's very very thin children's play um, stuff so then I decided on what bits that takes me ages decide what bits of um, applique I like uh, and this is what I decided on so trying to keep pin with the shape I think this is what I did yep and then maybe one like that so you've still got like it doesn't have to be perfect perfect shape but something like that yep um i don't want it to come too far over the board in case i want to add any shells and and then the weight will affect it won't it so um i, tr I try not to waste too much if i see one that's gonna like that i'll um I'll snip that one off because that is just a waste and that little tiny flower will come in with my crazy felt, crazy uh, quilting or something. So I think that looks alright. So, whoop, my gun. Right, another thing I wanted to ask you ladies. Um, I got... Somebody was telling us on Facebook oops, about these holsters. See? And I thought, oh, I'll get one. They sound like a good idea. But I 
I'm not very happy with it and I'll tell you why. One, I'm right handed, as you can see, and the holster should go in that way, which doesn't, my arm doesn't like doing that. And it seems to gunge up just as much, resting it in there. This doesn't stick very well to, well, this tablecloth anyway. I suppose if it was bare wood, it would. And I don't know, I'm just... And it falls down, it falls out. You know what I mean? I'm not a happy bunny with it, but maybe I'm using it all wrong. Um, which wouldn't surprise me at all, would it? Just try and get that right. So, we'll try and get the silly gun. Oh. This is another one I've opened up this um, this month. I one more got tired of working for me and stopped working. So, ow! So I put that in the wrong place. I think that's better there, isn't it? So. We'll just give it a good bit of glue. Don't it moving anywhere. And I used oh, excuse me. I used this bottom of this little tub as a size and I just went a little bit over it um to get the size I wanted. Are you still with me? And um, what time is it now? Oh, it's half past six. I will be home soon. Mm. One thing is tea. Um, it works long hours, bless him. Right, so that's that one. So that's how I usually start. Then I usually decide what I want in the middle. And I've decided on this this peach one, going peach again, because I do seem to have a lot of peachy roses left. So um, that's what I'm going to use. I took one layer off it. I didn't. It came out a little bit too much. So, and it's also a little bit tall for me. So I'm going to get a knife, a knife which is in here somewhere. There it is. I've done this before, and I'm just going to. Sorry, ladies, I'm just going to slice it in the best fashion I can. That's the sharp side that helps, doesn't it? These roses have just got oops, polystyrene in the middle, and um, the foam around it. So I think that will. That's better. To me that's better, it didn't, it didn't need to be as high as that. So, put another glue stick in, just about, and we'll start that off with the middle. I'm hoping you're going to get to see this. Um, it's interesting sometimes, isn't it, knowing how people decide on this, that or the other. I can't promise it's interesting with me, but there we go. Now, I've used these before. Um, these are little, what do you go, it's like silk ones. Um, I thought I had two left of them. Oh, I must order more flowers. Um, I found these pretty ones, but they're pink, them. So... They're not very good. I've got some more pretty white ones here, but what I wanted was maybe to do, but that's not the same as that one. That one's different, so I don't like that one. And I don't think I've got another one now. I'm going to make some of these at what Rosie Posey sent me as well. Try and do arrangements with them. Right, so I haven't got that. So I don't think it would matter if I put that there 
Give me a minute. Let me decide which I want as my front. That's got a nice... Oh, I'm going to take my bracelet off, ladies. The bracelet off. It's me clanging away. Oh, there we go. Right. Do I want this as the front? Or do I want this as... Do you know, I think I'm going to have this as the front. Do I? No. I'm going to have this as the front. So what I'm going to do is... Um, just cut a little bit of that off. And... Glue this one on. Oh. There we go. And then it gives us a little starting point. Yep. But before I forget, because I have been known to forget things like this, and, uh, that one? I've got somewhere, somewhere, um, a little diamante. I know I have because I've seen them. I've used one. Here's they are. They're in this pot here. See? This pot. These I got from they're like oh I don't know if they're magnet or just sticky. But, but I still use a bit of glue. They are sticky at the back. They're all individual. They're not on a string. From eBay, but they've got like um, sticky pads. Whoops, sticky pads, you see. So, um, just a nice size, but I don't trust that pad, so I'll try not to burn my fingers and just slip that one in there like that. Yeah. So now, before, before I switched on, I did um, glitter up a few shells. Uh, I'm almost out of the, the clear one, so I've had to use the gold. Now, I'm still not sure exactly what shells... I mean, the light's shining terrible. I hope you can see. Hmm... <laughs> dear. Um, so I just thought well, I'll, I'll shine, I'll put a few on, put some flowers on, and really it's just a case of uh, messing, isn't it, ladies? <laughs> and um, I like these. Do you know, I, I went right off foam roses for a while. I, um, you know, and into the more silky ones, but I fell in love again. Don't tell Arthur, but I have I fell in love again with my foam roses. So, I'm going to do a bit, a bit of this and a bit of that. It's coming, it we're doing, but we don't want to go too orangey. We need some white and some more. I had some paper ones here, but they're looking a bit worse for wear now, these. So, oh, I've got, I've, I've got hair in my mouth or oh, blue strands, I don't know what it is. And these are nice. Um, not sure, wouldn't like to say where I got these from. But they're pretty, they're white, and they've got a little bit of lace around them as well foam roses again so i know i've not stuck anything down i'm just i'm just messing and keeping an eye on the time if it were all right yet so i most probably won't come back i'll show you the finished thing but i just wanted to give you an idea of you know of the type of um choices I make I suppose um, when I'm when I'm doing these little arrangements uh, I know I've got some I've not done this type of work for so long I'm, I'm out of stuff do you know what I mean anyway I've got another one of these you see I'd stick that in I can just to give it a little bit of height there yep I'll stick another one in the other side 
Now that's a pretty shell. I like that shape. So I might have that. Some of the arrangements you, you can have them either way, you know, which I think is always nice, isn't it? They do these things for my friends and family. And they say, well, that's very pretty, but what do you do with it? Well, as you crafters know, what we do with it is we just put it somewhere to collect dust and admire it, don't we? That's what we do with it. But um, you know, a lot of friends and family, they're not into the shabby chic or, uh, or anything like that. So... So there we go. Ah, I quite like that. So I'm going to go another one. Oh, I'm building up a bit of height there though, at the back, haven't I? Like that. That's okay. I think that's okay. Now I've got, so, I know nothing's stuck yet, nothing's stuck, but it can all come apart. And what I sometimes do is if I'm not sure, that's too big, if I'm not sure if I'm going to remember how it all is, just take a photo on your phone and uh, your tablet or something and then you've, you've got that as reference. You know, when, you, when you've decided, oh, I like that and then you think, oh, I'll never remember it. But if you... Take a photo, you'll be fine. Right, now, do I want white leaves or some little silver leaves might be nice. I had a, a box. Here's a box. got green leaves, but no. So I had a little box of silver leaves somewhere. These are all greeny leaves and goldy leaves. Hmm, I'm sure I had some silver leaves. They'd be better. Yeah, they're too big. They're, they're too dark. I will hunt out my silver leaves after. I will. So, whoop, put that back there. So there we go, ladies. Can you see that? Can you see it? If I hold it, I'd be able to show it you. There we go. Move that out the way. So, that is simple as. And anybody can do them. But they're quite effective. They look nice on a dressing table or... A bigger one may be on a coffee table, a dining table, anywhere you want. Okay, dainty ladies, thank you very much for watching. I'll show you after, I promise, when it's all stuck down. Bye for now.